In the waning days of this presidential election year, after voters have already cast their ballots in primaries for the Republican candidates and Democratic candidates, we've already undertaken the process here uh, of the Democrats choosing their nominee for president. Republicans are doing the same. As I've said before, the American people can and should have a voice in the selection of the next Supreme Court justice. This nomination will change the ideological balance of the Supreme Court for a generation, a decision that will have dramatic consequences on the balance of the court and the direction of the country for a generation to come. I believe giving the American people a choice in this who selects the next justice of the Supreme Court is very important. I think it elevates the stake, what's at stake in this next election this November. So I believe we should listen to the voices of the American people and allow them to cast their vote and to raise their voice and determine who will make that selection. There's just simply too much at stake to leave this decision in the hands of a president who is headed out the door. I think it's only a matter of fundamental fairness to apply the same rules to the same situation, no matter who's in the majority and who's in the minority. It's about the principle. So it's only fair to play by the same set of rules which they themselves advocated. And the only way to empower the American people and ensure they have that voice is for the next president to fill the nomination to the, created by this vacancy. I know there's been some members of the press who've asked about, well, if not now, how about in a lame duck session of the Congress? That is, after the election, before the new president is confirmed. I think that is a terrible idea. If you believe in the principle that the American people's voice ought to be heard, it makes no sense to have an election and then to do it and not honor their selection. So because of that, because of all of this, I believe the American people should have their voices heard in the selection of the next Supreme Court nominee. And that means simply that this vacancy should not be filled at this time by this president. I, for one, believe we ought to be consistent and that consistent position is, and consistent principle is, the American people deserve to be heard and their voice heeded on who makes that selection to something as important as filling this vacancy on the Supreme Court.